it flying over there? <gasps> there it is! Look at that! Oh, that is so awesome! <laughs> it goes right through the heaters! Dude, you're the coolest drone ever! Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to uh, set up the drone thingamadoodle and check that out, and uh, then see where we are from there. Uh, so you can see we're 83% of the way towards the fish stage. Um, and we had, let's see, what do we have unlock? We had um, the butterfly farm unlock. This thing does... <laughs> Gazoon tight! Uh, this thing does 60 insects per second compared to the dome uh, the butterfly dome which does um, only 16 insects per second so here's what I'm thinking we might do um, the only reason I put up the extra butterfly domes that I did is to take advantage of those higher level butterfly larva but these uh, little butterfly thingamadoodles are a lot smaller because I, I built one just to see how big it was. And by the way, these butterflies are now working. I don't know why they were bugged the first time. <laughs> but uh, look at the colors on that thing. That is cool. So what I was thinking is taking these two back down to gain some space and materials back. And then instead setting up the smaller butterflies, which are going to give us more uh, insect growth. Anyway, um... So, and then that'll uh, leave us some room for the drone thing. Now, I don't know how big the drone thing is. Let's let's actually get the materials put together for this, uh, just to see, you know, what it, how big it is, and then we'll kind of determine what we're gonna do from there. Also, I wanted to try something I haven't tried in a little bit. I want to see if we can once again uh, do blueprints. We can't. Okay, my guess is that we've probably capped out on that, and maybe that's something when they come out with 1.0 that they'll expand even further. Um, if that's the case, can we recycle these? And if we do, what do we get from it? I don't... We probably can't. Let's just see, though. Nope, it just spits the microchip back out again. So that's the... Uh, you know, that's as, as far down as it goes. So these are basically worthless to us then. Unless, um, you know, at some point it opens up again. But my guess is at, you know, by this point, as far along as we are in the game, it probably will not. All right, so um, we need to uh, drink some water here. Yeah, so uh, also I want to show you a couple other things. I've got the, uh, I set up another auto crafter here uh, that's currently making fabric and everything that it's done so far I've put into the rocket. Um, I still haven't created any more silk generators, but one of you guys told me on the comments that you, uh, you set up farms uh, to make the high quality food. And so what I did was I, I, I put the move the farm over here. And in order for this to be a, you know maximum efficiency, I would. Well, actually, you know what? I was going to say we should have five beehives for the five bean plants that this grows. But. Depending upon how quickly, hmm. yeah, those are all okay. Never mind, those are all growing again. Um, depending how quickly these produce new honeycomb, I haven't actually timed this. If we pull that out, let's just oh, that's almost instantaneous.
Okay, now that one's not being instantaneous. Maybe it's on a some kind of a timer or something. Hmm, that, that's odd. Unless, oh, wait a minute, are you pulling? No, you're not pulling him. Okay, my guess is they must be on some kind of a timer and we pulled that out right before the timer recycled. So I guess what I was saying is, um, you probably would ideally want to have one beehive per bean so five beehives per farm plot and then that way you know as soon as these mature it's uh it's making you know five meals there yeah that i don't know that's really weird okay so i'm thinking that probably would indeed be the case then because these are not actually populating back really quickly okay well anyway um the the cool thing the the cool thing about this is you could really set up a nice elaborate farm you know for for selling with the rocket and make yourself some big big bucks um i don't know that i'm gonna do that here in in season one because we're trying to wrap up this series for 1-0 uh but what it does do is it shows me what you know what the potential is for season two uh, which we will start the plan is to start that you know when one drops so just really cool uh, to see that all right so as far as these guys go let's just make these three manually all right did we get any more fabric made we have one more piece made there now the fabric sells for eight credits a pop the food for seven so I still wonder if, you know, if we did the fabric uh, uh, and set that up, if that would still be a little more lucrative when it's all said and done. I don't know. So anyway, the again, the cool thing is that I, I see what the game's capable of. And if I wasn't trying to rush through the, the end of this, I would take more time and really set something like that up, you know, something cool like that up. Uh, but that is not the case uh, for us. We are trying to get this wrapped up as soon as possible um, so that we can start Season 2 with 1-0 when it drops in... Today's April 4th, so basically six days from now. All right, so let's do this. Um, we're going to probably take these two butterfly domes back down. Um, but I want to see... I want to see how big this drone building is first. Okay, so let's um let's make that. It's a drone station. Oh, that that just looks like a almost a console with a couple of monitors. So that's not like a full building, I don't think. Activates the logistics system and allows drone creation. Okay, well, let's make it. So the first thing we need to do is make a fusion energy cell. We have all the other stuff already. Um, and that I think we have to make in here. So we're going to need uh, three pulsars, two ozes, and an obsidian. And then to make the... Oh, I got a, an achievement. Fusion energy. Craft your first fusion cell. Yeah, yes. All right, we're going to need three circuit boards, a super rod, and an Oz rod. All right. <coughs> so I got to have a feeling... Like this is something we might uh, 
So, can you not put this inside? So this, uh, here, actually, let's try something. I'm stuck. There we go. Let's go back up here for a minute. What about putting this outside, uh, but on top of... Okay, where's the monitors? The monitors are on that side. So if we rotated this, like, here, right? Yeah. And put it right here, because it does not... It, it's... <laughs> here, let's try one other thing. I'm, I'm thinking this probably can't be outside because... Uh, I mean, inside, because the drones have to fly out of it, maybe? But we have a little more floor space in here. Yeah. Uh, definitely, I think this is an outdoors thingy. Okay. So let's go back to the main base. And I think uh, we had the right idea by putting this outside. And we have a nice little spot for it right here. And we want to Turn it this direction. Oh, it tanked our power. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, because see the drones probably come off uh, uh, out of that thingy there. All right, we need to make ourselves another fusion reactor. And I hope we have enough pulsar for that. I think we have just barely enough, actually. Yeah, just barely. <coughs> Let's break down a rod here. Unless I have... Hey, look at that. Rare larva right on the floor. Oh, okay, we don't need to break down a rod. We just need four of those, right? Yeah, okay. And now I'm, now I'm kicking myself. I mean, I kind of already have been kicking myself. <laughs> uh, but... For, for losing all those quartz, pulsar quartz crystals a couple episodes ago. Oh, jeez, that just makes me sick to my stomach. Because uh, I haven't had another, um, you know, a meteor storm come in. I don't know if the game is able to detect if, you know, if you have that in inventory. And when it realizes you're out, it sends you another one. I'm not sure how that mechanic actually works. Oh, what are we doing? We're putting, we have to go over here. All right, let's pop this guy down. Right about there is pretty good. All right. Now, let's go back up and take a look-see at this. Um, I'm going to eat that. Craft. A drone T1. Uh, drone station container. Build one or more drone station. Craft one or more drones. Open any inventory which you want to automatically move objects. Click on the cog icon. Choose a type of object. Oh, so are these? I see. So these are like little transporter drones to move materials. Because one of the things I was wondering is if you set up a massive farm with the auto crafter, was there some way you could transport it into like storage without having to manually move it? And I think that's what this means. Okay, build one or more drone stations, craft one or more drones, open any inventory in which you want to automatically move objects. Click on the cog icon, choose a type of object to supply or demand to the logistics system. The drones will transport supplied objects in inventories demanding those objects. Drones won't work if power is out. Okay, um, so we need a rocket engine, a circuit board, and an iron. 
I'll bet you, though... Hmm. I'm just trying to think how this is going to work, right? Um, Because it probably can't use this unless it knows how to come through the door. Maybe it does. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's see. We needed a circuit board. We needed a rocket engine. And we needed an iron. Okay. Oops. Wrong way. Craft. Logistics. Build a drone. I just got another achievement. Okay. Open drone station. I thought it said, though, smart fabric. All right, hold on a second. Okay, open any inventory in which you want to automatically move objects. All right, let's go here. Let's try this. Okay, open the cog. This is supply. Wait, is this... Yeah, this is supplying fabric. Uh, okay, so fabric. All right, and then demand. Can we make the rocket demand? Of course, it's not here yet. Here, let's change this to fabric. Okay, this is demand. Yeah, input there. Okay. Unless we can put it directly in the rocket. Okay. Let's, um... Did that just appear in there, like, just automatically? Where's the drone? Or was that already in there? Maybe that was already in there. I don't know. Um, let's delete that. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go here. Let's also do high quality food. Okay. Um, I'm just going to pop that in there. So we, so we have to remember that there's already one in there. Okay, now, let's go back to our drone. Can you assign multiple items to a single drone, or do you have to have a separate drone for each item? Okay, hold on a sec. Um, let's go here. So this is going to be supply. High quality food. And we already set the rocket up for demand. So I think we just... So what do we do? We tell the drone now that it's assigned to food and fabric. Is that how that works? Wait. Oh, the drone's already gone. Where? Where is it? Is it flying over there?
there it is. Look at that. Oh, that is so awesome. <laughs> it goes right through the heaters. Dude, you're the coolest drone ever. Oh, wow. Okay. Wowzers. That is neat. I had no idea this game was this sophisticated with logistics and and production. I didn't know it did that. It's got a little drone icon here. Okay, why did it switch over? Is it telling me that it's bringing that P Oh, maybe it can only do one at a time. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so it can only transport one at a time, but I mean, who cares? If it's doing it automatically, we go off and do our thing for, a few, you know, 10, 15, 20, 80 minutes, come back and it's filled up. That is cool. And it's probably not moving the cloth because there probably isn't any ready yet. Um, let's check. Yeah, see, there's no cloth ready yet. So I guess the more drones I have, the more they can, you know, the faster we move stuff, essentially, because each drone we have only moves one thing at a time. But for our little tiny operation here, one drone should probably be able to handle everything. Oh, man, I love this, you guys. So he's just sitting here hanging out, waiting. Um, I guess this is if I wanted the drone to bring stuff back to this container. Okay, yeah, I, I can see that. And it shows us that we have fabric and high quality food in demand and that those are then being also supplied. It'd be kind of nice if it also told us where it was supplying them to. But, I mean, so cool. This is just amazing. Okay, cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. We're going to build ourselves a ginormous production line uh, in Season 2, in 1.0. Um, here again, I don't think I want to take the time to do anything really elaborate with that in this series, because what, what my goal is, if we can pull it off, is to get to the end of the game, um, or at least to the final stage, before we wrap things up and get ready for 1.0. Um, so we're kind of... It's almost more like we're kind of just sampling what the game has to offer at this point. All right. That is neat. I love it, though. I, I'm, like, stoked about that. Okay, let's um, let's go ahead and uh, set up a couple butterfly farms and take down the two domes, and we'll get some space and materials back in that process. So the first thing we'll do is we'll take the, the larva out of both of these guys. Okay, and then let's um, deconstruct both of you. I'm going to leave the corridor in place for the moment. All right, now to make the uh, butterfly farm itself, we need T2 furt, zeolite, and bioplastics. Okay, we got the, the furts and the Zs. We just need some... Uh, uh, some bioplastics. Okay. So that means we need shrooms. And, you know, the other thing, too, is once we get to the point where we can do farms in Season 2, I'll probably tear all this stuff out. We just don't... I don't see why you would need it after that. I, I probably won't do that in this... You know, in Season 1, though, just because we're trying to fast-track things a bit here. Okay, so we have four mushrooms. We need... A silicon in... Do I have a silicon bin in here? No, we had that conversation already. <laughs> uh, okay, silicon here. Grab. Do I have any in overflow? I probably don't because I have room in the main bin. Oh, wait. I got silicon. Uh, can't take me anywhere. Um, let's grab some water. I'm going to drink you, grab you.
All right, now let's go out this door and we should put our butterfly farms in and amongst the flowers. So let's put one here. All right, and then we'll, oh, we can only put one type of species in. Okay, so that's a 600 and that's a 600. Oh, that is so neat. I love it. Okay, let's put another one here. I just heard our, do our our drone launching again. And we'll put the other 600 in here. Oh, this is so neat cuz it add, you know, then it adds your insects outside and just makes everything come to life more. Um okay, so we're going to need two more T2 ferts. Here, let's actually pin that. Uh, oop, okay, let me make this stuff and then we'll set two more down. All right, let's set a butterfly farm down right here. And we'll put the those guys in there. And we'll put one maybe right here. There we go. All right. Very cool. Uh, what is this? What is this? Here, let's go look at the 600%. I want to see what they're actually contributing. Three hundred and sixty GS to insects. Very, very nice. Okay, cool. All right, so let's see. We we did drones. We did butterfly farm. Uh, is there anything else new? You know, the other thing that just occurred to me, too, is that now I see why the, you know, having the rocket just automatically launch as soon as it's full, you know, contributes to the overall automation of this. This is just neat. It is really neat. Butterfly display box. Place a butterfly larva inside to see the butterfly. Do I have an extra butterfly larva? Oh, where am I going? Going down this way. That's all just larva larva. Yeah, we we'll have to make we'll have to make another one. Um Yeah, let's just make the, the cheapy ones. A common, a mutagen, and a furt. Common, mutagen, and we need to... Uh, oh, I have a fertilizer with me. Okay. There. There. And... There. Okay, so we'll let that uh, research... And then to make the thingy, we just need iron in a fabric. Uh, okay, that's easy peasy. Oh, a fabric. Right. Um, I guess I have silk in here. No, don't do that. Let's make a fabric directly. And let's put that in there. And it should auto craft. Yeah, nice. What I want to know is if my little drone buddy's going to. Does he come like through the door or does he just go right through the building to grab this stuff? Okay, he's coming. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> He just, he just teleports right through the building. Okay. So uh, physics don't apply to him, apparently. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's put an extra fabric in there. Um, all right. What are we doing? We're building a butterfly display case thing. Oh, that's just a little guy. Okay. We need to put this up in our bedroom, such as it is. It's not much of a bedroom, but hey. Let's stick that right there. I hope they add more, you know, furniture and things like that. Um, we got a, a leany larva. Okay. 
uh, in one O. I'm just, I'm so impressed too. You know, this game is made by a husband and wife team, you guys, if you didn't know that. That's just incredible <laughs> that they've, what they've been able to do with just two people, you know? I mean, granted, the graphics and the, you know, the arm movement and stuff, they're not like top quality, but they're not really intended to be. They're, you know, Subnautica style. Um, and it, this game, you know, it's not even so much about the graphics, though the game does is beautiful, you know, once you start getting, you know, the uh, the terraformation process underway. But it's just the, it's the gameplay itself and the satisfaction that you get out of it that makes this game so amazing, I think. Um, yeah, just incredible. Okay, so we got, we did that. I think we've, I think we're all caught up on trying all the new stuff so far. Our extractor three, that we'll get that when we have 13 pressure. So I guess what probably makes sense for me to do at this point is to just keep adding more machines to keep cranking up this um, terraformation index. I don't know how many stages we will have after the fish stage. I don't think we have large animals um, right now, but they are supposed to be adding large animals, you know, like. I, I think I saw like a, something that looked kind of like a deer, the size of a deer in uh, the introduction video. So I don't know, maybe fish is the last stage. We'll have to see uh, when that rolls over. So, all right, here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to cut the camera. I'm going to cut the camera um, and I'm going to, I do have... Um, I have what a, the flower that I need, oh, that scared me. Uh, the flower that I need to make another tier four tree spreader, or no, sorry, tier three. Wait a minute. No. What did I need that flower for? Uh, I don't remember now. We had to go out and get. A special type of flower to make the tree spreader unless I'm just completely confusing myself which I'm probably doing okay because this doesn't require a flower it just requires that stuff anyway <laughs> I'm gonna make um, a tier 3 spreader another one and I'm thinking about I mean our little forest gets pretty thick down here now as you can see and it's it's not a major issue, but it's makes it a little more complicated to come through here and pick up the uh, there's a rare larva, you know the the meteorites when they come. Um, so I'm kind of wanting to keep this a little more open here. Maybe what we ought to do is get some trees going on the other side of the base. Because it's still pretty barren out this way. Um, maybe we could do some trees over on that green hill. So yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, build a tier 3 tree spreader. When I'm done with that, I think we'll plop down some more heaters and some more drills. Just to keep that index cranking. And then we'll see... This is one shy. Here, let's just do this. Okay. Um, then we'll see, you know, if we have another stage after after the frogs stage and what that stage might be. And then go from there. Okay, so I'll bring you back when we roll over to the next stage. All right, guys, I'm back. I remember what I needed that flower for. I needed it to make the tree seed. Um which I was going to do this one, but we now have a 400% multiplier Aamora seed. I think that's the best one we have. And it requires that kind of white and brownish looking flower, which I currently have in um, an oxygen tube. So let's swap one of those out. Uh, they're one of these guys here. And those I picked in the wild. 
Um, these are... Those are 600, but I don't think we can make a tree with golden seed, or at least not yet, because none of these require golden seed. Maybe maybe something we'll unlock later that'll allow us to do that. Okay, we need a mutagen. Okay, and then we're going to do you, you, and you. Okay, so we'll research that for our tree thing. Uh, what do we got coming in? Just normal storm? Yeah, it looks like normal storm. I really wish we could get another pulsar quartz storm at some point. Uh, all right, so let's see where we're at here. We're at 99%. Okay, just about there. We made another 182 tokens. Uh, we're currently at 1,099. We only have 4,000 more to go <laughs> to get the, the nice locker. You know, maybe what I should do... I, I, I would not do this normally if we weren't trying to fast track the end of this series. But we could sell this just to get the lockers and try them out. Okay, I'm not going to do that yet. Um, maybe, maybe when we're getting right down to the wire, if we haven't made, you know, 5,000 tokens by then, we'll do it just to try the locker out. I just want to see what it does and, and all that. Oh, we have an, another super storm coming in. Okay. I wished it was a pulsar quartz instead, but it is what it is. We have 1,500 power, so this guy uses 183. So yeah, we're fine on power. All right, yeah. So we're just waiting for that to, to roll over. Uh, this. That's a 56%. The DNA manipulator takes a lot longer, I notice, than the incubator does, which seems odd. You'd think animal life being more complex than plant life would take longer, but that's just the way the game works. And they are just pounding us. It's nuts. I don't even think I'm going to bother picking that stuff up, you guys. I mean, holy shit. We got a, like a full thing of rods here. And over a half a bin of rods here. Or about a half a bin. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So, we still have another stage. We have an amphibian stage. How interesting. Okay, so we just unlocked the fish aquarium. And that generates animals. And yeah, okay. So... Don't we need... Okay, hold on. Don't we need to make these... And in order to do that, we need mutagen tier three and phytoplankton something something, which I believe here. Let's get a drink. Okay. Um, we need. Uh, where is that thing? This. We need that to collect phytoplankton. And oxygen needs to be 155 parts per minute. Okay. So let's build this and look at it. But it doesn't look to me like we can actually use it until until we can get phytoplankton. Um, all right. So let's go here. See how much closer you are. Oh, you're done. Okay. 
We'll put our, our tree spreader down first. Let's go do that. And again, I was thinking maybe right... Um... Actually, let's put it down here. Oh, I'm missing a tree bark. Must have accidentally put it away. Oh, no, you know what? I used it to make the the tree seed. That's what I did. All right, let's go back out. Oh, you know what I really should be doing, you guys? I should go put this over by our Tier 2 uh, machine optimizer. If we really want to maximize things, which we do. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Uh, why can't I pick you up? There we go. You know, I'm starting to think that the rare larvae aren't actually all that rare. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're not as plentiful as the other ones, but we're certainly not having any difficulty getting them. Yeah, okay, I think for the purposes of fast-tracking stuff, we should put this down over where it can take advantage of our our machine optimizer. Um, unless we want to build a second machine optimizer, oh, we should actually be doing that for our pressure, too, to totally space that off. Okay, so we could do a second machine optimizer and do two plants in an oxygen. That's what we should do. Okay. That's what we should do. Jeez, Louise, are we, we're already completely filled up on... Whoops. On uh, larva in both of these? Okay, I gotta stop picking those bastards up. Let's, uh, let's just put the extra ones in here for now. Okay, so Machine Optimizer Tier 2. Uh, all right, well, actually, hold on. If we're going to do that, let's... I know, I'm a little scatterbrained right now. I'm sorry. Let's go put the tree spreader down first and at least get it started. All right, and we will put uh, you in there. And this is contributing to 27 oxygen and 1,000 plant thingy. What do we got? Uh, looks like we have another osmium storm. Okay. I mean, that doesn't suck, but I really would like to get some pulsar quartz. Right, okay, so what we want to do is we want to make ourselves a tier two Machine optimizer. Actually, we want to make two tier two machine optimizers. So let's pin those. Uh, we can unpin you. And we should be able to. We have two uranium rods right there. We should have six obsidian. And we just need four explosives. So I'm going to grab these fuses here and the pressure fuses. Okay. There's four explosives. I should have done this with the pressure a long time ago, but I just didn't think about it. So shame on me. Sue me. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's build this here. Hey, we got mutagen tier three. Really? Already? What happened to tier two? I don't remember getting tier two. All right, we want to put the pressure fuses in here. Um, just for shits and giggles. Let's take these back out for a minute. All right, so you are doing 367.2 pressure. Now you're doing 2.75 UPA pressure, whatever the hell that means. It's the next level up, <laughs> exponentially speaking. I love it. Okay. So we'll put you right here. 
and we'll throw you guys in there and let you go to town and build us a forest with these trees that uh, give us a shit ton of plants and oxygen. And what I'll do is I'll put some, I'll build some more of these, you know, within range of that too, because it can support up to eight. But we'll do that later. Okay, so we seriously just boosted our pressure and our plants and oxygen. Um, I haven't removed these yet just because we might end up building something else there later. Um, it's a rare. I got to pick it up. I'm not going to leave a rare sitting on the ground. I can't help myself, man. I'm a loot whore. Okay, let's... Uh, we'll, uh, we'll stick you in there. How's our uh, rocket doing? Just out of curiosity. Because we're... Here's the thing, man. I mean, we're not even trying. <laughs> we could set up some amazing production lines. And we will. Um, I, I'm so looking forward to doing that in 1.0. And we might even we might even mess with it a little bit here. I don't know. We'll see. My my first and most important goal, though, is to get us to the last stage, the final stage. Um, so that's really what we're pushing for at this point. Uh, okay, so... Um, we were going to make... What were we going to do? We were going to do something? Can't remember what it was. Uh, let me look at something here. Where's the Tier 2 mutagen, man? I want to know what happened to the Tier 2 mutagen. I seriously do. What the hell? <laughs> okay, so that means we have the Tier 3 mutagen. We just need the phytoplankton thingamadoodle. Uh oh, hi, drone. Okay, he's working hard, man. I'm proud of that little feller. Okay, we're 1.11%. Uh, I can't remember what else I was going to do, you guys. Sucks getting old. Oh, we were going to do the aquarium, right. That's what we were going to do. Okay, let's just build this and see what, what it looks like and if it does anything before we can get phytoplankton. Um... Yeah, we need to eat. And we need something to drink. We'll just throw back a bean, a couple of beans since I have such an excess of food right now. In fact, I had to go throw all that shit into the rocket too. Um. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, so we need a circuit board. That's another thing we need to do is we need to go back to all of the ships and scrap all the servers because I've, I've done some of them but not all of them to get all the circuit boards we do have one more area that we need to explore too maybe we'll do that in the next episode and that'll be our final exploration episode at least for new territory and we need to make a tier 2 furt And I think they're adding, if, I, if I'm if i not mistaken, I think they're adding two more new biomes to 102, which is just to 102, T-O-O, -O. <laughs> uh, which is just amazing. Okay, so do we have a tier one furt in here? We do not. Okay, so we're going to have to make a tier one first. That's two eggplant and, uh, wait a minute, no. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, two eggplant, a sulfur, and some algae. I think I have an extra sulfur sitting in there. And an algae. No, three algae. God, this game is fun, man. I am so such a, having such a good time. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. Okay, one algae, squash, and two methane. One algae. A squash. And let's see if we have any new methane out here. We do. Look at that. And even an oxygen, too. What you know? What do you know? Um, okay, so let's make the tier two. All right, let's see how big this thing is. Okay, it's not huge. Uh, can we put it outside? No, this is okay. So this is an indoor thing, and because uh, I think it's gonna, we should kind of think of it as a decorative thingy. So why don't we put it in the corner over here? 
Ooh, that might be a problem. Can we... No, we can't turn it. We can only turn it by 90 degrees. All right, yeah, there isn't really any room in here for this unless we put it... Why is it not fitting here, but it fit in the other corner? Oh, 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 right there. Okay. Sure, I guess we can put it there. Open aquarium. All right, so yeah, I think we have to put the... F the we have to make the fish eggs and the sequ genetic sequencer machine thingamadoodle and then we plop those in there and then they grow into fish alright how much power is this thing using 90 okay that's nothing so well, yeah we'll leave it in place until we can plop some fish in there alright um I think we're probably done with this episode we should make a couple flower pots, too, to decorate a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to make some more Tier 4 heaters, because we don't have any boost for those. Uh, we def we just boosted our, our drills like crazy. So I'm going to make a couple more of those, and then I think what we'll do is we'll start the next episode, and we will go to... Um... Let me look at something here real quick. Okay, yeah, so we will go to the final area that we have not explored yet, and I have never been to, not even in previous versions of the game, which is going to be in the northwest. So this area over here, uh, plus we have a new uranium cave. We'll go investigate that, and then we have explored the entire map, which is great. I um, also think I'm going to... I've kind of been holding out for the Tier 3 extractor... But I'd like to put one here uh, for zeolite. So far, I've been able to gather the zeolite, but at some point, that's going to run out. And we don't get any meteorites that I've noticed for that. So uh, we should So I should probably put a, an extractor down here. Uh, this is the cave that everybody calls the Super Alloy Cave. Oh, you know what else? We, ha we still have that Warden's Key that we need to do, too. So let's do that in the next episode as well. So we'll do the Warden's Key. We'll go investigate this new area. And there are three gold chests that I have sort of kind of inadvertently found out about. Uh, some of them through comments that you guys have left. Um, and some of them just from watching some other um, YouTubers play this game um, at earlier stages than where I am. And so we'll grab those two. And um, yeah, so that is the plan for the next episode. Okay, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.